Hey guys, welcome to Brain Attic. Today we have another fun and challenging integral. If you do want to give it a try, you may pause the video now. Otherwise, we can continue solving the problem. Let us begin. So we have the integral given to us as 0 to 2 pi sine square theta d theta divided by a minus b cos theta. This, if you are familiar with the properties of sine and cosine, we can rewrite this as 0 to pi sine square theta d theta by a minus b cos theta. Now, this, uh, if you are familiar with the properties of sine and cosine, you will know that sine square theta will remain the same from 0 to pi by 2 and then pi by 2 to pi. And the cos theta will only change in uh, sign from 0 to pi by 2 to pi by 2 to pi. So we will rewrite this equation as 0 to pi by 2 sine square theta. We'll take it outside and we'll write this as 1 minus b cos theta, which is from 0 to pi by 2. And then to contribute for the factor from pi by 2 to pi, we will write this d theta. Now, as you can see, uh, we will solve the uh, part in the bracket. A plus B cos theta plus A minus B cos theta whole divided by A square minus B square cos square theta D theta. So B cos theta B cos theta gets cancelled and we are left with 4A 0 to pi by 2 sine square theta d theta by a square minus b square cos square theta. Now this sine square theta you can write as 1 minus cos square theta cos square theta d theta by a square minus b square cos square theta which again will multiply b square on both the numerator and the denominator. You will know, soon you will know why we are doing this. d theta a square minus b square cos square theta. Now, 4a, what we are left with is 4a pi by 2, 1 minus of a square minus b square divided by a square minus b square cos square theta d theta. So we have rearranged the term from the above to 1 minus a square minus b square divided by a square minus b square cos square theta. Going forward, so this uh, we can solve for the part 1 and we get pi by 2. Now we'll integrate for 0 pi by 2 a square minus b square divided by a square minus b square cos square theta d theta. So we'll take uh, a square minus b square in the numerator common out of the integration as it is independent of theta and we will divide both the numerator and the denominator by cos square theta. Follow the step very carefully. 0 to We are taking the numerator term outside because it is independent of theta and we are dividing both the numerator and the denominator with cos square theta. So 1 by cos square theta is nothing but second square theta. Now, a by b square pi by 2 minus a square minus b square 0 to pi by 2 second square theta by second square theta we can write as 1 plus tan square theta oh this should be b square minus b square d theta now we'll substitute the term tan square uh, we'll substitute the term put t is equal to tan theta oh sorry my mistake put tan theta 
is equal to t and accordingly the limits will also change so we have 4a by b square pi by 2 minus a square minus b square we have 0 to infinity now because tan pi by 2 is infinity we have dt by a square t square plus a square minus b square This integral, if you recall, is nothing but a under root of a square minus b square tan inverse of a t by under root of a square minus b square applying the limits 0 to infinity. Now, finally, when we apply the limits, what we are left with is 2 pi by b square a minus root a uh, square minus b square so this is our final answer if you do like the video please hit the likes button subscribe to watch more uh, subscribe to our channel for more content like this thank you so much